It's the most simple, recognizable domestic situation when um, a man who's been in a car crash wakes up in hospital and he meets um, an estranged daughter. I mean, we can all imagine that situation, very simple, touching situation. On the other hand, it's also a scene in which a man emerges from madness, emerges from purgatory. And I think that's really the greatness of Shakespeare, the ability to dance the minor and the particular with the major <laughs> and the universal. And I think it's absolutely epitomized in that scene. He wakes, speak to him. Madam, do you, tis fittest. Does my royal lord? How fares your majesty? You do me wrong to take me out of the grave. Thou art a soul in bliss. But I am bound upon a wheel of fire that mine own tears do scald like molten lead. Sir, do you know me? You are a spirit. I know. Where did you die? Still far wide. Scarce awake. Let him alone a while. Where have I been? Where am I? Fair daylight. I am much abused. I should even die of pity to see another such. I know not what to say. I will not swear that these are my hands. Let's see. Feel this pinprick. Would I were assured of my condition. Oh, look upon me, sir, and hold your hand in benediction o'er me. Now, sir, you must not kneel. I pray you. Do not. Mock me. I am a foolish, fond old man. And to speak plainly, I fear I am not in my perfect mind. Methinks I should know you and know this man. But yet I am. Doubtful, for I am mainly ignorant of what this place is. For all the skill I have remembers these garments. No, I know not where I did lodge last night. <laughs> Do not laugh at me, but as I am a man, I think this lady to be my child. For me, Robert is the definitive Lear. I can't imagine anybody tackling the role with such breadth and imagination and gusto. I mean, he takes a torch, a spotlight, and shines it into every nook and cranny of the part and illuminates the play from within. And I can't imagine anybody being greater. There is one uh, wonderful speech in it which you haven't recorded when he sees the half-naked Edgar on the heath in the rain and he suddenly says which i think is indicative of, of, of king lear 
He's man no more than this. Observe him well. Thou owest the worm no silk, the beast no hide, the sheep no wool, the cat no perfume. Here's three of us are sophisticated. Thou art the thing itself. Man is no more than such a poor, bare, forked creature as thou art. I think for him to come to that realization is extraordinary, and I hope I've done that in the performance. I'm very lucky.